I am going live again for the second time just because I've got to go out in a minute. I've been on client calls all morning and I've got to go out again soon. So I just want to jump on. I've got no lippy on. <laughs> Hi guys. Give myself a bit of colour. Hi Crow Tarot. So guys, I'm just coming on for part two of this live because I've had calls all morning. I've got to go to a lunch in a minute. Then I've got to go and talk to my best mate who's needs me and then I've got another call later on do I oh yeah late much later so guys if you've dm me oh no one's here what who am I talking to so guys if you have dm'd me with any kind of request for coaching I will get back to you this afternoon I'm sorry I haven't got back to you yet but I promise I've seen your request I have so many requests in my bloody inbox in Facebook so it's just like 17 or some bloody thing um, all right, guys, do you have any questions? Please put them in the chat because this is going to be a quick live, part two of the live I did at 9 o'clock. How are you guys? What's going on? What's happening? Hi, Angel Personified. Hi, guys. Hi, Good Night Luna again. Hi, Melissa Lynn. Hi, everyone. So please do put the questions in the chat because this live isn't going to go forever because I have to go pick up my mum from the nursing home, take her to lunch, do other shit like <laughs> life stuff <laughs> how are you guys what's going on please put your questions in the chat and if you can't see them put them in the little um question bubble box okay guys now if you've sent me a request for coaching i am getting back to you i promise i do have so many requests in my inbox at the moment on tiktok and messenger i promise i'm getting back to you change the story question mark what do you mean darling how do you change it you write down the old shitty story, write down the new one, exactly how you wish it went, the new version of the person, the way you wish they were, and only focus on that. Read it over and over and over again every night. You don't have to write it again. I just want you to read it over and over again and focus only on the new story so the old story starts going away. The old story won't go away by itself. You have to focus on something new, okay? Hi, I have to go to bed, but wishing you a wonderful day. Oh, don't worry, darling, it's very late. I'm trying to manifest someone, and it's making me so sad. Why are you saying you're trying to, darling? There's no try, okay? You either can or you can't. Can you or can't you? Are you manifesting all day long or aren't you? Okay, so if you're trying to manifest someone, stop saying try and start knowing that you can do it. Know your power, okay? Start watching all my lives. Go to my live number 25 in the Facebook group and number 41 if it's an X, okay? And you've got to work on your self-concept. If there's someone you don't know yet, oh, sorry, they don't know you and it's someone new, you don't have to get rid of the old story. You just have to focus that you and them are happily together in your mind. You're already together. And then do affirmations about that, darling. And self-concept ones to build your self-concept up, what you think about you and men in general or women in general or relationships in general and what you think about them. How do I affirm? I keep saying it over and over. It doesn't feel right. Darling, you don't have to feel it and you don't have to believe it and you don't have to say it like this. John, I have a marriage. John, I have a marriage. John, I have a marriage. That's vain affirmations. That does it with no meaning. When you're affirming, you want to do it like it's truth, like you're saying something that's true to someone, like this. John and I are happily married. John and I are so happily married. We're so blissfully happily married. Ah, like it's a thought. I love John so much. He loves me so much. You're telling your friend, you're telling yourself, you're decreeing a thing as if it's true. You're not just doing gobbledygook over and over and over again like Bart Simpson writing on the chalkboard over and over and over again. That's when it doesn't work, okay? That's when it might not feel right. However, if it doesn't feel right because it's self-concept stuff like I am so lovable, I've always been chosen and wanted, and if you never felt lovable or chosen and wanted, that, then it won't feel right because your brain is fighting it. So just persist. You've got to persist in the new affirmations because your brain, your subconscious, will fight those new thoughts, because they're so foreign to you. So don't worry about feeling that, okay? That's normal. Lots of people feel that. They feel anxious. They feel worried. They feel, oh, my God, I can't believe these. You don't have to believe it. you just got to think it and 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 think it. Mm -hmm. Any more questions, guys? Oh, there's only 47 people here. Oh, Garrett's here. Hi, Garrett. Uh, Sandy's here. Frank's here. Glenn's here. Lots of men here today. Tommy's here. Is it possible to manifest with a deadline? Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Guys, I don't believe in doing that because I think it stresses you out when you get closer to the deadline date. However, lots of people can. You've got to drop the old story completely about the thing you're trying to manifest. Get rid of it completely. Focus on the new story. Focus on the fact that you have it already. Okay, and then affirm for it in a date type way. 
I get such and such, although it was so great um, spending Valentine's Day with such and such as if it's already happened, okay? It was so wonderful spending my birthday with John, okay, as if it's already happened, that date, okay? It's been one of those up and down days, Loz. Oh, Will, you have them. My best friend's having one right now. I have to go and console her later. Sometimes you just have those days, guys, and you just can't help it and you just want to crawl into bed and cry. Do that. Everyone has those days, guys. Sometimes your manifestations feel like they're never going to come. Don't worry about it. Just jump back on the horse. I have them all the time, guys. I'm not perfect. I have them a lot. Sometimes I cry my eyes out and then I'm like, okay, you've had a good cry. Stop that. Okay, but let it out, guys. I find it so hard to focus on having success when I seem to go around in circles. Well, start telling yourself you're a success, darling. I can be, do, and have anything I want. I believe in me. Where is that coming from, darling? Is it lack of confidence, a fear of failing, perfectionism, a fear of being criticized, approval seeking? Where is it coming from in your childhood that's making you feel like you can't have success? Do you feel not good enough? Do you feel you'll be criticized? Do you feel not smart enough? Etc. You have to focus on what that is that's causing you to feel that way, then affirm against it with self-concept affirmations. Everyone tells me how smart I am. I am more than capable. I am the most capable girl in any room. I am the smartest girl in any room. I can be, do, and have anything I want. I can do anything I put my mind to. I believe in me. Mm -hmm. But investigate what that shit is, darling. It's causing you to feel that way. Good night from Scotland. Are you going to bed? Good night. Every time I see SP's name on a commercial, I give it good meaning, like SP is thinking of me. Wonderful, darling, do it. Guys, whenever you see their name, whatever, do it. Give everything good meaning that you see. Wonderful. Hanging out, did I attracted her? Oh, what's what's going on? I can't see the rest of that. Hanging out, sad face, did I attracted her? I don't know what that means, darling. Is there a rest, a rest of this question? I've been manifesting my ex. He kept showing up good signs, and I found photos of him and his ex are hanging out. Oh, right, okay, Mariella. I've been a manifest my ex, but he kept showing good signs, and then I found photos of him and his ex hanging out. How do you know what they're doing? They could just be friends. Stop giving meaning to shit you see on social media, guys. You guys are looking for reasons that they don't love you. You go to their socials. <gasps> Who's that girl? <gasps> That's his ex. What does this mean? It's literally your, your reticular activating system finding reasons for your subconscious thoughts to be true. I'm not loved. He doesn't love me. Look, look at the picture. Then people will say, did you see that girl on the thing? And everyone's going to come at you with that information because that's what your mind thinks. Your subconscious mind is thinking you're not wanted by him and so you'll find evidence of it all the time. Stop looking for it. Stop looking at it. Stop engaging in conversation about it if anyone t discusses him with you, okay? And start focusing in your mind that you're already together and stop focusing on that shit, darling, and stop looking at the socials if it triggers you. You don't even know why they're together. For all you know, they're friends, Stop giving everything bad meaning, guys, and stop looking at the socials if it triggers you. I beg you. So many of you are so triggered by social media. You've got to stop looking at it. Um, all my manifestations are now in my dreams. My subconscious believes that I'm so powerful. Wonderful, Ellen Carroll. Yay. Guys, I love it when it turns up in your dreams. So you're thinking about it all goddamn day even when you're asleep. Well done, darling. I've been affirming and my SP reactivates his account, but after that, nothing happened. Did I ruin it? Why are you thinking you ruined it? Guys, go and watch my latest video I posted about there is always movement. You have to trust in the unseen. How do you know what the fuck is going on in his mind when you, he's not in front of you? You have no idea that he's, th he's not thinking about you all day. He's masturbating furiously about you. He's picking up his phone, putting it down, wanting to text you every five minutes, talking to his friends about you, talking to his family about you, crying about you. You don't know because you can't see it. You've got to trust in what you can't see. You've got to trust in your power and know that there's always movement. You can even affirm, there is always movement. I always see evidence of my manifestations daily. You've got to trust in your power, darling, and stop worrying about what you can't see. He did this, but then nothing happened. How do you know what the fuck he's doing? He's activating his account to watch you all day, see you all day, read your stories, stare at you. How do you know? It? Give everything good meaning. Stop thinking nothing's happening. When you think nothing's happening, nothing is. You guys create it with your mind. Stop thinking that. Okay? What to say if I want someone to quit and hate smoking? To say, oh... They hate smoking. They can't stand cigarettes now. See an image of them, tipping them down the sink and putting the water on or throwing them in the bin or ripping them up, the cigarettes. Okay? See an image of that. 
see them coming to you or hearing them say to you, oh my God, I'm so glad I quit smoking. I can't believe I smoked for that long. God, I was stupid. It's so disgusting. Now I can breathe so much easier. I can't believe I was doing that for so long. Imagine a phone conversation like that, darling. I've been trying to work this out, but I just can't find the answer. What, Miss Renee? Work what out? I can't see what you've been trying to work out. What have you been trying to work out? Um, what have you been trying to work out? Please write the rest of it. I don't understand that question. I can't see the rest of it. Sorry, guys. Hi, Kat. Hey. Can you, can I what? Can you? I can't see the rest. Can you make a clear skin affirmation video? Oh, yes, of course. All right. It basically, it would go like this. My complexion is perfection. My skin is so beautifully clear. I love my beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. My skin is so youthful and glowing and clear. Mm -hmm. And then as you put the creams in, you say those things. Look at yourself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. and don't see the flaws. Just focus on the bits that are improving and use retinol at night. Okay? <laughs> and when you put the retinol on, like different gel, okay, you can get in the US over the counter or uh, the ordinary by the retinol, emulsion put it on and tell yourself every time every night you put it on this is improving my skin oh it's magic this stuff and it, it actually is okay uh manifested free breakfast in bed today what are you doing hang on cat come here my cat is trying to get my attention look look at the people <laughs> i manifested free breakfast in bed today matched my visual 100 percent and no effort Oh, wonderful. Who gave you breakfast in bed? That's so nice, Kat. Oh, lovely. So you manifested that. You're right. Can you get comfy? Just get yourself comfortable, please. God's sake. My 19-year-old cat's so needy. Just need constant attention. Constant. Her name's Safi, you guys. Isn't she cute? I tell her every day, you are the healthiest 19-year-old pussycat. Oh, she's dripping all over me. <laughs> you're, the you're the healthiest 19-year-old pussycat anyone's ever seen. Aren't you? Um, oh god, hang on. Oh, hi Adele. Hi Connor. Hi pa hi pre hang on. Get your claws out of my Hollister shirt. Uh three new mistresses. Hang on, guys. I love that story, Kat. Is it okay to record myself saying my affirmations and play them while I'm asleep? Yes, that's a lovely idea, guys, because it's your voice. So if you don't want to do that, you can listen to my affirmations while you sleep. Okay, the videos I make on affirmations, just let them loop on TikTok. But if you want to record them yourself, that's a wonderful idea because it's your voice. You can leave a gap after you say every single one so you can say it in your mind. But listening to it and not doing the thought afterwards or during it isn't enough. But as you sleep, of course, you can't be thinking it. Your subconscious mind's soaking it in. But if you're doing it consciously when you're awake, try and think it as well as or say it out loud as well as hearing yourself. Don't just listen. Okay, guys, it's important. But definitely while you sleep, that's a wonderful idea. I use the Ordinary Retinol. It's great. Oh, do you, Christina? Yes. I love it. Retinol has changed my skin so much. So, guys, if you don't use retinol and you've got skin problems, trust me, it's like going on the keto diet if you've got weight problems. Just do it. <laughs> and keto actually improves your skin as well. It really does because lack of sugar is good for your skin. I just got retinol from the dermatologist. Yes. It's all dermatologists prescribe these days pretty much is retinol. It's the only thing that is proven, that and vitamin C and vitamin B are the only things that are good for you, like proven good for your skin, that are anti-aging and get rid of pimples, is retinol. They did it by accident, the anti-aging part of it, because they were using it for people's pimples, and then they realized the people with the pimples, their pimples were going away and they looked younger. They were like, what's going on? Then they realized it was actually revitalizing, restoring the vitamin A in their skin. It's literally vitamin A. Hi, Kitty. Oh, yeah, she's so cute. I'm doing better with my dominant thoughts, but getting negative feelings. Well, don't worry, CC. Look, guys, you get negative thoughts. Don't beat yourself up. I'm not one of these LOA people to, telling you to be happy all fucking day. It's impossible. It is impossible. I don't feel happy all day. I have negative thoughts all damn day. You just got to replace them. Don't beat yourself up. Just be like, oh, that's a negative thought again. Shut up, brain. Not today, Satan. <laughs> Sarah said the other day. It's a great expression. Adorable cat. Yeah, she's so cute. My mum got her on 9-11, the day of 9-11. That's how old she is. Uh, can you... Oh, hang on. Any more questions, guys? I'm coming down. I'm scrolling down. I want to start manifesting, but I don't know where to start. Michelle Rose, you're always manifesting. Go and watch my video if you're stuck. 
on TikTok, the series, it's 12 or 13 videos, there's a black heading, it says how to manifest properly, black and white heading, okay, go and watch those, then join the Facebook group, Manifest Live with Lowe's, and watch all my lives back, and if you don't understand how to manifest by the time you've watched my lives, I, well, I can't help you, <laughs> okay, darling, but you're always manifesting, you're just going to do it consciously, you're going to live in the end in your mind, in the wish fulfilled that you are the man or woman already that you want to be, in your imagination, okay, that's the key to all manifestation consciously. Is it okay to oh, I saw that one? I just found you and I'm obsessed. Oh, thanks, Adele Marie. <laughs> That's so nice of you. I love your affirmations. Oh, great. Yeah, I joined this TikTok, guys, just to do the affirmation videos, but when I saw the crap you guys are being taught about manifesting, I thought I'd better fucking start answer answering some questions because these people are confused and teaching you some fucking bullshit <laughs> about crystals and shit. Things with SP were coming in fast, but now it's slowed down again, question mark. Well, kiss me now. Don't worry about it. Guys, when it slows down, it's because your old doubts and fears are kicking in and the old story of you and them is kicking in. So start focusing on the new version of them, the new story. i have covered in here. And only focus on that. Live in the end in your mind. Don't let the 3D throw you. Don't ask them what's happening. Don't force the 3D. Don't do anything like that. Just let it progress in its own time. Slowly, slowly catchy monkey. It has to work in its own way, in its own time, guys. Don't get impatient. That's when you fuck things up. Focus on you instead of them. Do your self-concept affirmations 80% of the fucking day and then you won't be thinking about them so much and wondering where they are and why they haven't texted you. Can you manifest them back for the second time? Yes, of course. <laughs> second, third, fourth, fifth. <laughs> doesn't matter, guys. I've done it. What it doesn't matter. But the problem is when you do that all the time and you have to keep manifesting them back, it's because you haven't worked on your self-concept enough and then they leave again. So are you working 80% on you, darling, and not just affirming for them? Are you working on your self-concept because that's why they keep going away and coming back, going away and coming back? You keep pushing them away with your thoughts about you. You have to work on that, darling. Go and watch my self-concept affirmation videos. Find ones that suit you. Start watching my lives in the Facebook group about self-concept. Just type self-concept in the um, search box and all the videos about self-concept, although I talk about it in every damn live. But look for the videos um, by searching or going to the videos or media section and watching all of them, darling. You can manifest someone back as many times as you like. You just have to focus on you so they don't leave again. Do you believe in tarot card readings? No, I don't, guys. But if they're talking to spirit, maybe. But if they're just interpreting the cards, then all they're really doing is interpreting the card based on what they know about that card. And then, I've got to go in a minute. And then they, um, and then they are reflecting your thinking just like everyone else does. So they reflect back to you. Oh, I think you should give up on your specific person, John, that you told me about. He's not for you. And then you go, oh, but you think, I did think that. I thought, should I give up on him? And then someone says it, whether it's a person or a tarot reader. The problem with tarot readers is you believe them because the tarot readers, if your best friend says it, you don't give a shit. But when a tarot reader says it, you think, oh, my God, I better give up on him. He's not coming back. But actually, it was something you thought. That's all they're doing. I tried to contact my spirit guides, but nothing happened. Question mark. I had an odd dream, but I can't decipher it. Well, I don't fucking know anything about spirit guides, darling. We're all spirit. I don't really believe in spirit guides, although I suppose they're just spirit that hangs around you specifically and guides you in life. I know my brother, every time he's gone to a psychic and anyone's related to him has gone to a psychic, they all say my granddad's with my brother specifically. Okay, so he must be his spirit guide. But don't try and contact them. What do you need to do that for? Why don't you think the power's in you? Why do you need your spirit guides? Why do you need help? Do you not realize that the power is within you, darling, and you create your own universe with your thoughts? Why do you need spirit guides? I don't talk about that. I talk about manifesting and the power within you. Start honing in on that and you won't need a fucking spirit guide. Seriously. Can my daughter use written A? Yes, guys. Kids can use it. The only people who can't use it is pregnant people or breastfeeding women. Do you suggest to stay away from social media while manifesting an SP? Yes. If it triggers you, don't fucking look at it. Okay, because it will just trigger you, you'll spiral, you'll think negative thoughts, you're trying to think of the new story, imagine you and him together and then you see them with a third party, you think, <gasps> and the new story goes out the window and you're living in the end goes out the window, don't look at it. Guys, I've got to go soon because I've got to go pick up my mum. Lol, what are you lolling about? Um, Loz, I'm gaining momentum. Thank you. Are you, Megan? Woohoo! Tell us more. I tried out the EFT tapping that you recommended. It was so amazing. Oh, wonderful. So EFT tapping, guys, is tapping the meridian points. I think they're called the pressure points on your face and your body. Eyebrows, temple, cheekbone, collarbone. Okay. And you tap out your feelings, your emotions that you're feeling. You conjure up the feeling. Think of the event that's making you sad. Think about it. Think about it. And then say, 
I release and let it go. 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 It is safe to let it go. You hold your wrist. Okay? You don't have to say it's safe to let it go or I release and let it go. You can say whatever you want. You can tap in your affirmations. I am chosen and wanted. I've always been chosen and wanted. Okay? And it's like getting to these points in your body that have an effect on you. It's called emotion freedom tapping. Emotional freedom tapping. EFT. Go and look up Brad Yates on YouTube, guys. It's very helpful if you're feeling stressed, anxious, can't get rid of the old story. Go and do some EFT. Laws, I'm gaining momentum. I saw that one. That's wonderful, darling. Any more questions, guys? Otherwise, I've got to go because literally I... What's my Facebook group name? Manifest Live with Loz. Same as my TikTok. Put the spaces in between Manifest Space, Live Space with Space Loz in the search bar on Facebook or press the link in my bio on TikTok. Go straight to the group. Just answer some questions when you want to join, guys, so I know you're not a spammer. Then there's over 500 people in there, all from TikTok and each other, and pe people inviting their friends from Facebook, giving each other help, asking, answering questions, asking questions. There's all the live videos in there. I'm posting some more this week. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching, you can DM me there through Messenger. I'm the admin or through my Manifest Live with Laws TikTok. And if you don't follow me, guys, please do follow me. I go live twice daily today. I'm going live three times because my live this morning was so short. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching, DM me and we can manifest your shit together. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I've got so much shit to do. And if you've DM'd me already about coaching, I will get back to you today, I promise. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'll be live later. Bye.